brother sing a track every week bro you a machine how far in advance do you produce to maintain that that consistency okay so if we go to spotify for artists uh this is uh everything that is ready uh where, do you, where is my music uh let's go to spotify for artists music uh in terms of releases upcoming i have the nck on the beat remixes that are coming out in five days december 8 i have lose yourself in me the remixes i have 10 remixes of this song coming out december 15 then i have a compilation called kizomba zuken kampa 2023 with it's a compilation of tracks that i released plus two uh new ones coming december 22nd then i have afrobeat and i'm a piano same thing for these genres these ones are coming december 29th then i have a track in collaboration with uh makita that is coming january 5th and then i already uploaded but it's not there yet for january 12th uh, I have another track, uh, a remix, a bunch of remixes from Kiss Me, Kiss Me that I'm uh, uploading tonight, actually. And I'm going to record probably tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to record two more songs. So the month of January is done. And then after that, I will probably do remixes and collaborations with other people. So the strategy and I, I, I think I'm going to do a whole live about music strategy. Uh, where I, where I explain how do you find your uh, the right cadence for you because not everybody is a machine like me. Um, once a month, twice a month, four times a month, eight times a month. Listen, I I have some people that I work with. They already have releases until July, but they are just beat makers. So like Malcolm Beats has releases until July. He makes like 10 beats in one night and then he just lined them up in the platform. He doesn't need a singer, so it's not a problem for him. I also do instrumental albums, so I can do four beats in the same day. So I can do a whole month worth of release in one day. It's not it's like it's one afternoon for me. Not making beats is the, listen, I don't even need to go make beats. I look at my whole library of all the beats I produce in my life. I have enough beats to do releases for 12 years. Now, I believe that a uh, good strategy is what I do is, first of all, I write fast because I improvise songs. I don't spend my time asking myself if it's the right song, the right lyrics, whatever. I don't care because in a week I have another song coming out. So I don't need to do the perfect song because I do songs all the time. Some of them will be hits, others not. All I know is I make a minimum of 10,000 stream per song in a week because of the million of people that listen to me every month. And this is because just playing with the algorithm, right? Now, the best way to be able to generate uh, five, uh, four songs in a month is to do collaborations with other people. So let's say I take uh, you, brother. I take uh, Lil Maro and I take uh, Malcolm Beats, right? So that's uh, three beat makers. Plus me, that's another beat maker. I tell you to send me two beats, Malcolm Beats to send me two beats, Lil Maro to send me two beats, myself, I have two beats. I take two or three afternoons or two or three nights and I record all eight songs, right? In these three nights. That's easy uh, by myself or with collaborations. Today it's easy. Listen, I put everything on Dropbox. If I need somebody, a collaboration, somebody to do a verse, I can send them the, the, the instrumental and they can record from wherever they want from home like me. And then they send me the songs, mix everything. Now we have eight songs, right? These eight songs represent eight week of releases. That's two months. What we do, I tell you, okay, brother, you guys release beginning of the week, your song with me. I give you one that's yours. And in exchange, the other one is mine. So you guys will make money from your song. I will make money from mine. So you release, we do brother featuring Keisha uh or brother and keisha that's a release for uh january 1st 
I'm gonna do Keisha and Brada. That's gonna be February 1st. And I do the same thing with every beat maker. So one with you, one with Malcolm Beats, one with Lil Maro, one by myself uh, with my beats. And then I do the same thing for the next month. Some get released on my label, others on your label, everybody's making money, all good. Now we have eight songs. I take all the acapellas and I give these acapellas to all the beat makers I work with. And now everybody make me five to, let's say everybody make, you have enough beat makers around you that you have 10 uh, remixes of each song, right? And now you have uh, uh, eight times 10 plus the eight songs. That's 88 singers, 88 masters, 88 songs and remixes that you can release in the next eight weeks. So now you have four months of releases with three nights of work and just 10 crazy beat makers that are as crazy as you. And that's what I've been building and that's what I have now. That's why sometimes I do a whole YouTube video where we are just listening to remixes by all the ninjas. So to give you an example, uh, uh, if you take my latest remixes, um, if you take my latest uh, single, where is it? My little single, this is Prairie. That's with me and Lil Maro. Came out Friday, produced by Lil Maro uh, on his label. The week before that, singles. The week before we had Letters of Loving, same thing. Lil Maro, Pearl and Keisha on Lil Maro's label. And then in, as part of the exchange, the week before that, we released an Ama Piano that was Keisha, Shilliam and Lil Maro. This one on my label. Now, these three singles, when we remix everything, we're gonna have 30 songs. So this is six weeks of releases actually. Three weeks, plus when we release the remixes, and then sometimes if you look for example, Showstopper, we had nine remixes or eight remixes plus the original. And then, uh, yeah, when you are too lazy to record, well, you take the acapellas and you make remixes and you can release, listen, and listen, somebody that is not as um, crazy and can output the number of songs that I do, imagine that you only do four songs. Let's say you take a lot of time to do songs. You release the four songs and let's say you have five people to do you three remixes of each song right now you have four versions of every songs so that's four for the first one another four that's eight four four that's 16. well you can release every one remix per week and now you have 16 weeks of releases because the more time you take to release tracks, the more the algorithms work for you. Because you release every week, remixes, another remix, another remix, another remix, another remix, a new song, plus a remix of it, plus a remix of the other one. There's a lot of strategies that you can implement to release tracks. And then after that, you can do a live stream where you can uh, show how you did the remix, or you can do live stream as you are recording live, like, and you create content, all this content goes to the different platforms, the platforms pay you for having people come to the platforms. You make money, you happy. But I think I'm going to do a whole live stream about uh, music strategy.